I was going on guys, as you can see, it's raining, it's pretty windy, so I wasn't exactly planning on filming, I was just going to have a chill session. But, yeah, I just had three perch and three tasks. So I'm going to put a camera on, show you what I've been catching on, show you like how I figured them out, because I struggled for perch this year, I'm not going to lie, so, yeah, I'm going to make a quick video on this. Unplanned, but, I think supposed to catch some more fish now, camera's going on, so probably won't, but we'll soon find out. <sighs> okay, so I wasn't actually planning on filming right today, but, as you can see, we've got three big perch in the net there. Just done them in three casts. So I thought I'd put the camera on, see if we can keep catching. I've been fishing for like 20 minutes without a bite. Just downsize, downsize, downsize. Gone for the four centimetre craw. Like I say, three perch in three casts. Pretty friggin' wild. One of the perch got absolutely smashed by a 20 pound pike on the way in. I'm pretty sure that guy might die. He's still in the net, so we'll look at him. He, uh, yeah, the pike held on for like 20 for. 10 15 minutes and then yeah just let go just so i got it to the net so the perch has been through a lot but yeah i know where the pike lives now he's literally right here came out and smashed it it was high double to low 20 size so yeah we're probably gonna try catch catch that fish as well but let's see if we can get some more perch three and three casts like i say so there's definitely gonna be some more out there it just goes to show like these are all good one pound plus fish and normally I'd, I'd be targeting these with the bigger craw and bigger shads and stuff like that but yeah the only way to get them to bite today was super super downsizing which is crazy so let's see if we can get another one just trying to get that cast to that exact spot i know exactly where they're sat the shoal so and each fish it comes slightly closer to me as well which is pretty cool so yeah we'll keep keep hammering that same area see if we can get some water bite it's got the one to seven gram rod today as well, so fishing very light right now. There we go, that's the spot. Okay, we should get a bite of this cast. I've been casting a little bit too far to the right on the last few casts, like you've got to be super pre precise when the fish are stacked like this. So cast just right to the spot where I've been catching them. So let's see if we can get another one there. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice fish. That feels better than the other ones did actually. Just like I say, I was only like five foot off with the other casts and nothing. Get to the exact spot where they're stacked, like, and yeah, they ain't gonna be moving in this cold water to chase your baits. You gotta get, get your bait to them. And you see when the perch normally stay down, when they're coming up to the top like this, it means there's a pike after them. So we'll, <laughs> we'll try to get a bit pretty quick. But uh, yeah, there we go, far from in the net. The one I've just caught is probably the smallest. But yeah, it's like a 35er, nearly in this little craw. I'm not normally one for retaining fish, but when these go back to the shoal, they will stop biting. So I'm just keeping them till they stop naturally, basically. But yeah, super tight little squadron of perch out there that we're just finally getting to bite like i say i fished through this spot with a lot of the bigger lures already 12 centimeter worm seven centimeter craw uh shads of various sizes with nothing and then i just put this on just to see if there's any small perch and yeah we started getting some, some nice bites that's a bit, that feels nice that feels good Hell yeah, that feels real nice. <laughs> yes, exact same spot again. Like I say, getting that cast into that right area. It's like a, say five foot square area where I'm catching them. It's like, so crazy. Hopefully that pipe doesn't come on nailing. But yeah, they're all, it's basically the same size fish. <sighs> Mid to high thirties. beautiful perch though big big bellies on them so as you can see feeding up ready for free spawn looks uh, i'm a little bit off the area we'll see if we can still get a bite there but oh i've got five nice perch in that so stoked okay that's on the bottom so start twitching a few pauses just feel it down on the bottom i kind of tune out 
most of my other senses when I'm fishing light like this and just go everything I'm feeling through this hand. There's another one. Okay. Oh, it's a pike, I think. No, that was a perch. I think it's just got whacked by a pike. As I was saying, there is a lot of active pike coming up and chasing them. I'll be able to see soon enough whether it's got my perch or whether this is here, but it felt like a small perch at first and then boom, just went solid. So, yeah, let's see. It's quite a popular spot with um, roach anglers at this time of year where I am. So obviously the pike get accustomed to just taking roach off them. So that could well be what's happened here. Took my perch. Feels like a good fish anyway. <sighs> but yeah, we just changed spots because I've been cast into that same spot and it, I was thinking, you know, you've got two choices. They've either stopped feeding or they've moved. So I just thought I'd cast like 20 foot to the right. And yeah, boom, first cast there. I believe we got hit by a perch and then Pike took it. We will soon see. Uh, yeah, no, I think we've talked to Pike actually. I think we've just hooked a pie. It's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Go on, buddy. Okay, there's a, there's a pike in the net. That's a fat guy. Holy cow. All right, guys, right time, right place. 10 minutes with the four centimeter finished. I feel like raw. Boom. Nice fat jack. Probably seven, eight pound fish. And it's just started raining, but yeah, quickly show you a couple of perch. This is the one that got hit by the pike. Um, I think it's died, so we'll probably try to catch a pike on that. But yeah, super nice, super nice average size, 35 plus sort of size. So yeah, stoked to get these baddies. We're getting back now especially this pike because he's going a bit wild and yeah <laughs> hopefully we'll get some more now get more sure pike back super quick bye bye snooky solid fish i'm gonna put all these well four of these perch back not the one that got hit by the pike because the poor boy ain't too healthy these four <sighs> Can go. See you boys. <sighs> we can do a few more casts with perch. Leave that guy in the net and yeah, hopefully we can get a few more pulled out. That's a fish. That's a perch. We found him again. I took a little while to get there. Moved over like 25, 30 foot. It feels like a better perch as well, to be honest. Let's grab the net. Still flicking that same finesse bit for all around. Oh yes, that's a bigger fish, that's a bigger fish. There we go. Oh yes, that's very nice. That's a huge perch. Let's go. Yes. I put those other ones to shame. <laughs> oh, 40 plus all day. Probably a three pounder. Yeah, that's a three pound perch. Look at the belly. Wow. Small craw, absolutely annihilated. Oh, yes. First river three of the season. Big fish like this on that four centimeter craw. So good. <sighs> Just gonna get a little picture, then we're gonna get this guy back, but I'm happy with that. Well, I was gonna get a nicer release, but she just slipped the net as soon as I put it back in the water. So, there goes my perch. So, so good. This craw, four centimeter craw. Boom, baby. You do not need big baits like cars you can come fishing sometimes and they'll only take the big lures 
and but sometimes you'll come with just big stuff and you won't get a bite and you just want the small words so it's always worth if you're using your normal stuff you know like i'll normally be using the seven centimeter crawls if i'm not getting bites on them it's always worth downsizing 